Many businesses have found great success using Twitter as a tool to find new consumers for their products. But on the other hand, there may be accounts that may actually do more harm than good. So today, I want to count down my picks for the top 5 Twitter disasters. DiGiorno Pizza is a very popular frozen food brand that is known for their pre-made pizzas. And while the company has been around for years, in recent times they really ramped up their social media presence, which may seem to be a strange marketing strategy for a pizza brand, but they have seen much success from it. When a company has a person spending all their time tweeting, they are most certainly going to try to incorporate trending hashtags in their posts to try to garner views. And this is where things went wrong. In 2014, when the American football player Ray Rice was cut beating his fiance, the internet was outraged. In result, many started the hashtag why I stayed, for people to share their stories of domestic abuse. With such a serious topic as this, many companies would never make a joke about such a serious subject. But whether intentional or not, DiGiorno's Twitter account posted, hashtag why I stayed, you had pizza. Immediately after being tweeted out, people start to scold the pizza maker for being so insensitive to victims of domestic abuse. Knowing that they messed up, the person running the account quickly started to apologize, saying that they didn't look into what the hashtag meant before making the remark. But by then, the damage was already done. The American National Red Cross is a humanitarian organization that provides emergency assistance to those in need, and is a fairly big and well-known foundation in the United States. Because of this, many became confused when their official Twitter account posted, Ryan found two more four-bottle packs of dogfish heads Midas touch beer. When we drink, we do it right, hashtag getting slizzard. After the tweet, the Red Cross caught on to the post that was obviously meant for a personal account and followed it up with, We've deleted the rogue tweet, but rest assured the Red Cross is sober and we've confiscated the keys. Then Dogfish Beer found out about the mistake and promptly encouraged people to donate to the foundation, with many actually doing so. At least with this error, some good came out of it. One popular technique used by marketing departments on Twitter is to encourage people to retweet and follow them in exchange for a possible reward. And that's exactly what the New England Patriots did when they were about to reach 1 million followers. What they did was put an automated system in place that would add a person's Twitter handle to the back of a jersey, then tweet it out. And of course, since there was no one manually adding the names, one user was able to get his racist Twitter handle tweeted out to all million Patriot followers. I think this just goes to show why having automated systems instead of humans isn't always a good idea. When running a company's online persona, one of the worst things that could happen is getting the Twitter account hacked, because at that point you're completely defenseless from anything that person may do or say in the period of time they have access. This publicity nightmare was made a reality for Burger King though in 2013 when they were hacked by what appears to be the Daphonic Team Screen Name Club, a group previously known for taking over Paris Hilton's account. When they got access, they promptly changed the fast food chain's profile picture to that of their competitor McDonald's, claiming that they had been bought out because the Whopper failed. For the next several hours, the hackers spit out a high number of ridiculous tweets, including many implying Burger King employees use heroin at work, until finally Burger King was able to get in touch with Twitter to regain control of the account and delete all the offensive tweets. On the bright side, in the short period of time the account was in control of the hackers, it gained over 30,000 Twitter followers, so maybe Burger King shouldn't be too upset. Out of all the outrageous errors I've looked into while researching this video, this one involving Home Depot is probably the most astounding. In 2013, the large home improvement chain was posting a lot of things on Twitter for college game day, with it all being very innocent material that would be expected from a large company. Except for one post. In one tweet, someone in the marketing department thought it would be a good idea to have a picture of three men sitting in a row, two of them being black and one with a monkey mask on, then include the caption, which drummer is not like the others. Of course, people saw this as some sort of racist comment comparing black people to monkeys, and and the tweet was taken down with Home Depot apologizing, but you have to wonder how this could have even happened in the first place. 
Unlike the other Twitter failures mentioned in this video, it seems impossible that this wasn't done purposely, and that they didn't see the blatant racist implications, which is why I'm rating this the biggest Twitter failure of all time. Well there you have my picks for the top 5 Twitter failures, but before I finish this video today I just want to give a really big thank you to my sponsor Beam Messenger, an app for both iPhone and Android that allows you to see what the other person is typing while messaging them. This allows you to more closely mimic verbal conversations, and best of all the messages stay private since you can write and delete as you go along. So if that sounds interesting to you, I'll leave a link to them in the description below. So anyway, until next time, thanks for watching.